having been promised that you were voting for less red tape, you have ended up creating loads more. And it's people like Simon who are going to have to deal with it. And the best case scenario, the optimistic analysis, is that they will deal with it. Business adapts, business changes. However, they will be adapting to a scenario that is worse than the one they were in before, whereas you voted for things to get better. But we'll park that existential debate for another day because I want to catch up with Simon and, and find out whether the, the, the teething troubles are in abeyance. Simon, how are you? I'm, I'm OK. And what's I'm going fine. on? What's going on? Uh, well, the... Well, the last time, last time I spoke to you, we had the issue with us not being able to actually ship directly to consumers in the EU. Yes. That remains. There has been absolutely no movement on that, no actual advice or any any consultation. I was actually promised a, a meeting with, with government four weeks ago. I have been advised after a, a number of tweets went out and they, they picked up a lot of traffic mm. that... Uh, it was still on the cards. There is going to be a, a meeting with George Eustace and um, Victoria Prentice to discuss. But it, we, we've been hit by you know endless endless sorts of knockbacks, including, of course, we can't actually ship directly to Northern Ireland customers either because, of course, the border is the UK. So yes. not only have we lost the EU consumer market, we've now lost the Northern Irish um, market. Our main distributor, a company called Rowcliffs, have decided that it's just not economical for them to wholesale into Northern Ireland because of the same issues. It's just Gosh. too much paper, too too expensive. So we're we're, we're losing losing market daily at the moment. Actually, um, you know the, the UK is becoming smaller and smaller for us, and yet there's still still no sunny sunlit uh, horizon for us um, uh, and, and no no answers to the situation we're in at the moment you you sound a little less upbeat than you did last time i, I spoke to you i mean you weren't exactly happy last time we spoke but i think you you you, you felt things might yeah, come well, out in the wash and now you sound a little less optimistic well I, I suppose it was a few weeks ago when i spoke to you and we were still in shock really that the situation had arisen where nobody had actually thought to tell anybody including all the food producers that actually not only will you need a health certificate to ship to wholesale you'll also need it for every individual at 180 pound so we thought well, that, that surely can be resolved but more and more it seems that it can't be resolved 